Yo, surprise! We actually have fuzzy baby ducks on deck. Yeah, another fuzzy Nevco baby. brew, baby. You know, fuzzy. If, if you're from CT, you know fuzzy baby ducks. That's one of Nevco's like big heavy hitters. They top seller. Yo. Whenever it dropped, man, I remember. Now we can pick it up in store. I remember the first time we went and got it. We were waiting in line at New, at New, Demco. At New England at Demco. Company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like they come a long way with this, man. And this is this is one for the ages right here. Long time coming. Yo, you can already see it. We didn't even drink. We just did the pour, and you can already see the lacing on the sides right there. It's well made there. Yo, that's good foam right there, man. Well made. Got a little bit of turbidity there, you know. Slightly hazy IPA. It's not one of the those crazy super hazy it's IPAs. Like a little hue, little hue to it, orange hue. One of the um, like the most classic favorite beers from over at Nevco. That's one of their staples, uh, similar to Sea uh, Hag. Fuzzy baby, man. But like Jamel said, like I remember the first time that we actually tried this beer was a couple years ago. Maybe like what, like two, three years ago. Yeah. yeah. But we actually had to ride out to New Haven to the uh, to the headquarters there to the brewery to snatch this one up because um, like every now and then it would make its way out to like our way, but it was similar to like when what is it alchemist beer when they would deliver yeah, like heady yeah. topper, topper or focal banger here to connecticut it very was limited cool. very it was limited not in not in a lot of spots you had to hit up like the big time liquor stores yeah you know i mean or the very popular ones like like a harvest might have it or something like that yep and, and if that'd, you, that'd be like the only one in the area yeah and if you didn't get there in time then that shit was gone bro even when they even when they started releasing a heavy within days yeah it, it was at your probably your local liquor store, but if you weren't there within the first two to three days, it was it was out of stock. No, so true. that just that just tells you like what this beer is to the state of Connecticut and to Nevco itself. Yeah. All right, let's take a Get into it. It's not very uh, like it's not fruit forward or anything. I get like a, a little malty flavor to it. Yeah. Very little, very little. grainy, should I say more or less. Like the grains. Yeah. Uh, but it's real crisp, clean, goes down, easy, pause. But uh, it's a great beer, nonetheless. Yo, you know what I like about it too? Like, I notice like a lot when you're drinking those IPAs here in Connecticut with the haze craze and everything like that because that's still going on. That, I don't think that'll ever die. But um, Not that I'm looking for it to die out, but I'm just saying. But it's not like... Uh, it's not bitter at all. No, it doesn't have a bitter like, taste. It's, this is like one of the more smoother IPAs that I've ever had, period. Not just here in Connecticut, but just like in general and you know we've had IPAs from like all over because like we started this craft group shit like five six years ago so I mean we've had our fair share of IPAs but some of them you know more bitter way more bitter than others but this one is just like it just it's so smooth and it's to a point where you could tell where a bear is brewed well like we, yeah. we've been around it to to the point where you know a well-brewed bear you can tell the difference. One that's gonna hold up in the cans for a little bit longer. Yeah. You know, one that's actually gonna taste real good in a few weeks when it's canned and shipped and all that type of stuff, as opposed to some that, you know, no knock to people. Everybody does their best, but some people just do it better than others. You know, just like anything, basketball or whatever. Um, it just it just brewed better. And yeah. it holds up well in the cans. Like you said, it's not bitter. Yeah. It's real smooth for IP. I think it comes in at like 6.2. So somewhat crushable, you know what I mean? Like it could be dangerous, sneak up on you because they come in a six pack. True. So you might, you know, you might go through that six pack because it's going down easy enough. And then it's like 95 degrees and now you link laid out somewhere. <laughs> be like that sometimes. No, nah, another, another smooth beer delivery from Devco. Like I said, one of the um, the heavy hitters for, the here, for here in the state of Connecticut. And you know they just tend to deliver consistently, and 
you know, you can never go wrong with a brewery here in Connecticut that just delivers on a consistent basis. That's what you look for, especially, you know, when you're a beer drinker. Like, you just want consistency, man. You look and, for those new releases. Yeah. To try what they got coming new, like, you know, more than the ones that are not as consistent, you know, the ones that make good beer. You like to tend to, you know, follow them on IG or Facebook or whatever platform you use to see what's next. You know what I mean? And also look forward to that fresh batch of sea hag and that fresh batch of uh, fuzzy baby ducks. Yeah. Don't they got like a double fuzzy too? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah they got they a double do. fuzzy. Yeah. So you know, it, it just grows from there. So. We need that one out here in this Hartford County area too, yo. So. Your hair is Jamal. Your hair is right. Come on, we need that double fuzzy out here. <laughs> and shout out to New England Brewing Company with everything that they're doing with changing the air fest with um, Sacred Heart University with the scholarship program. Yeah, with the African American Brewer Scholarship, man. We we love everything that's going on with that. We'd love to be more involved in it and you know spearhead everything going on here in Connecticut. So yeah, big shout out to that. Big shout out to the changing the air fest. If you don't know, get tuned in, man. It's all for the uh, African American Brewers uh, Scholarship. Uh, we all for it. <laughs> but uh, we signing out, man. Look for the next video. Matter of fact, we will be sure with the brew heads soon. You know, look out for that. Shout That's out to the brew yeah, heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, shout out to everybody in CT, all the beer drinkers. Look out for our next uh, pop up shops, vendors, venues, and all that good stuff. Salute. Yeah, all our uh, craft beer friends out there, man. All love. Appreciate y'all. Can't wait to link up, yo.